1934, Walt and his wife Lillian made their first of many trips to Hawaii, and they instantly fell in love with what they saw. Inspired by Hawaii's beauty and rich and diverse culture, in no time, Walt had some of his most famous characters hula dancing, playing ukuleles, and hanging ten. And now, nearly 70 years later, Disney has created the Aulani Resort that in every way honors the islands Walt Disney so enjoyed. Why Disney in Hawaii? It's actually pretty simple. It's three things. Number one, the Hawaiians are the most fantastic storytellers in the world. Two, there's a very subtle layer of magic in everything. And three, family. If you know anything about the Hawaiians, family's incredibly important. Disney also is about storytelling, family, and magic. And so when you put Disney and Hawaii together, it's like the perfect marriage. The name Aulani means one who speaks on behalf of a higher power. And that higher power is Hawaii and the Hawaiians. There's a lot of talk of Hawaii about how spiritual the land is and the water and the, and the balance of both. And this hotel does capture the true meaning of aloha and what Hawaii is all about. The Aulani Resort, located on the island of Oahu, sits on 21 oceanfront acres and features a white sand beach, a saltwater lagoon, and dense tropical landscaping. Architectural elements were included to reflect the rich history of the islands, all with the goal of immersing guests into Hawaiian culture. Aulani is a celebration of Hawaiian culture, Hawaiian history, of the people of Hawaii. And it's told in a way that is just absolutely fascinating for adults and just tons of fun for the kids. I grew up in Hawaii, and you see they really captured the true essence of Hawaiiana that I grew up with. And to show my kids that is amazing. As Disney's first Hawaiian resort, it was important for the Disney Imagineers to get every detail just right. And since Hawaiians are some of the greatest storytellers in the world, ancient Hawaiian stories can be found around every corner. When you first approach the resort, on the outside of the building are two immense sculpted murals. And at first, they look like a textile pattern. But in fact, they are a kind of alphabet. The two towering bas reliefs on the outside of the resort reference the rising and setting of the sun and the moon and are appropriately placed facing east and west. Everything in Hawaiian history has some sort of spirit relating to every part of nature, and you see that throughout the hotel. Creating from the ground up a truly authentic Hawaiian experience was not an easy task. We did a ton of research, we read a lot of books, we went to a lot of places, we took a lot of pictures, and then we said, okay, now it's time to ask for help. And that help came from local experts. Aulani is the first time that the Hawaiians were invited to participate in the development and the creation of the place. The Hawaiian cultural leaders who worked with us were very, very gracious with their knowledge and insight into Hawaiian culture. The thatching methods are usually set at two fingers apart. So if this building was to be, let's say, six times the size of that, will the same proportions well, be used? Yeah. And that traditional design inspired much of the resort's look. From the moment guests enter the lobby, they're immersed right into the heart of Hawaiian tradition. Walking in, yeah. and just with those arches and the big ceiling. The complex wooden edifice reaches up to the gods, and the exquisite 360-degree mural artwork tells the story of both ancient and modern Hawaii, all designed to provide visitors with a truly authentic Hawaiian greeting. When you get here and you live in this place, you're living with the culture, a living culture, not something that's contrived. And an important part of that living culture is the language of Olelo. To help guests learn the language, Disney's Imagineers created the Olelo Room. We help the guests that come down with the Hawaiian language. We like to kind of call it a little 101 class in Hawaiian. I try to get everyone leaving saying ukulele and not ukulele. The Hawaiians regard water as an essential source of life and the home to many of its most powerful gods. The Aulani Resort honors this tradition 
with the Waikolohe Valley, a seven-acre recreation area comprised of a variety of pools, a 900-foot lazy river, an interactive play area for kids, and two water slides that test every skill level. We went on the slides like 100 times. And while Aulani is definitely a family resort, Disney Imagineers also created areas catering just to adults. There's so many different little pools and spots that you can really get some privacy. There's also a snorkeling lagoon called Rainbow Reef, which includes over 1,300 tropical fish. The Walt Disney Imagineers went out and snorkeled around the island and looked around and saw what the reefs looked like and recreated that here in Rainbow Reef. Coming up, we explore the beautiful island of Oahu on horseback and meet one of its most mischievous inhabitants. Walt Disney's connection to the islands began, as it did for many, when the rise of the cruise and tourism businesses in the 1930s turned Hawaii from a faraway paradise to a bona fide vacation spot. The islands are a product of volcanic action. So we are sitting on the top of ancient volcanoes that ultimately have eroded and become the islands of Hawaii. The main volcano on Oahu is Diamond Head, and it can easily be hiked. Hawaiians have a strong love of the outdoors, and guests to Aulani are encouraged to explore all of the natural beauty of Oahu. Horseback riding through the Kualoa Ranch is one such excursion. This 4,000-acre private nature reserve still serves as a working cattle ranch. And since the ocean is such an integral part of Hawaiian life, visitors have the opportunity to get an up-close look at sea life in their natural habitat. They can also embrace local custom by riding in an authentic Hawaiian sailing canoe. Back on land, an afternoon at Alani's Lani Vai Spa is a way for guests to relax in a tropical setting. Lani Vai means freshwater heaven. Lani Vai was designed after a rainbow, and so it's a play on light, color, and water. So as you get to the very center point of the spa, that's where you see the final descent of the water coming from the heaven, the Lani, all the way to the Aina, the earth. This 5,000-square-foot spa was designed with guests of all ages in mind, and it exemplifies the Hawaiian word nanea, or relaxation. So we had a massage, and then we get to go walk around the hydrotherapy garden. And you go outside and they have different showers that have different pressures, and they're all symbolic of different types of rain. It was perfect. As parents unwind, the younger guests of Aulani have their own special ambassadors to keep them entertained and teach them about local customs. Uncle and auntie are the heart and soul of Aulani. They are our host. They go out of their way to make every guest at Aulani feel like family. Auntie's Beach House is a hangout for young guests, and Disney Imagineers designed every aspect of it with kids in mind. It is our kids' club for children ages 3 to 12. We have a game room, we've got a computer room, we have this beautiful yard outside. I just dropped them off at Auntie's Beach House again, and he just ran in. And I'm like, oh, do you want me to, should I stay with you guys for a minute? And they were gone. And a favorite for kids of all ages is to sit around the campfire and listen to Uncle's thrilling stories. It was, was really awesome. sweet to see them, you know, listening to Uncle and watching him and just being enthralled by the story. One of Hawaii's greatest legends centers around the mischievous little people of the island called the Menahune. And Disney has created an interactive high-tech scavenger hunt to find these mystical creatures. Legend has it that there's around 300 Menahune scattered all throughout the grounds. They're finding little ones in like little corners of the windows and everything. And mm -hmm. my four-year-old, Menahune, Menahune, you know. <laughs> they, they, in designing Aulani, Disney Imagineers considered the unique needs of families of all sizes and ages. And the wide variety of restaurants at the resort offer something for every palate.
The magic of Aulani and its strong connection to Hawaiian culture grows even more powerful at night with music, dance, and storytelling. Another signature experience is the Aulani Starlit Hui. It really is an opportunity for the family to come together under the stars. The Starlit Hui is a wonderful cultural sharing event. There's a chance to enjoy some of the best musicians. We have wonderful dancers. So it's a wonderful, wonderful way of also saying, again, this is an ancient culture, but it's also very much alive today. One of the principles of Hawaiian hospitality, we call it ho'okipa, is acknowledging that you might come as a stranger, but when you leave, you're a friend. Maybe more importantly, perhaps family. From the early days of Disneyland, Walt Disney infused magic and adventure at every turn. The same still holds true today. Whether it's cruising to Alaska or a tropical island, getting a personally guided tour through the wine country or at the Great Wall of China, or experiencing a resort that blends local traditions with modern amenities. Walt's original vision for new and exciting travel has grown much further than he could have ever imagined. Walt once said, you know, be like a sponge, go out into the world and soak it all up. That's what Walt did and that's what we do with these products. We had stretched out beyond the properties that we already knew and we had reached out into a new frontier. I bet you he would be very proud of the experience we created because it was an extension of his love of travel, of adventure and his storytelling. Walt Disney's love of travel continues to inspire the dreamers at Disney. And as more trips are added every year, experiencing Disney beyond the parks has never been easier.